Hi researchers, I hope that you're ready to get started learning about your topic today. We're gonna to use this book. This book can be found on Mayan, and we're gonna use a piece of paper or a notebook page to take notes today. Because we wanna make sure that our notes are really organized, we're gonna use a graphic organizer to keep our thoughts in a logical structure on the page. So for today, we're gonna to use a main idea and supporting details graphic organizer. I'll show you how to make one, then you can make one to use for yourself, and then I'll show you how I use mine. All right, so in my graphic organizer, I'm gonna make sure that I have a rectangle up at the top that's big enough for me to write in. And notice I'm using a colored pencil because it's easier for you to see on this video, but I would definitely use a pencil if I were you so I could erase if I make a mistake. So this is my box where I'm going to write the main idea. And the main idea is just what does the author mostly want me to know about my topic? What's the most important thing that I can take away from the reading that I do today? Okay, so my main idea needs some details. So I'm gonna say that we all need to have at least three details. Three is enough. If you happen to want to include more, awesome. I'm just going to make three little branches coming off of my main idea. And these details are holding up my main idea. You notice my boxes aren't perfect. They don't have to be. They just need to be big enough for me to write in. And we're going to write detail, detail, detail. All right, so once you have your graphic organizer created, you're prepared to read about your topic and take notes about your topic. Now that you have your graphic organizer created, you are ready to read about your topic. Your teacher will let you know what pages in the book you need to read to learn about the topic that you've been assigned. Um, this is the page for my topic. I chose um, hygiene, so taking care of cleanliness, and I know that I need to read this page. You guys will not have a printout, of course. You'll just have your page open on your Chromebook on Mayan, and you'll have your graphic organizer on your table ready to work. All right, so let me go ahead and read my topic in my head. You can also have Mayan read it to you. That's the first thing you're going to do. You're not going to take any notes until you've read the whole thing. So after reading my page about my topic or pages, if you have more than one, um, you should come up with a main idea. So what does the author really want you to know about this topic? And this topic for me, I think that the main idea is that the colonists were not clean. So maybe my main idea could be the colonists were really dirty. So I'm going to write that. And I'm pretty sure there's more than enough information to prove that the colonists were really dirty in the part that I read. The colonists were really dirty. Okay, so now I need three details about why they were really dirty. Hmm, <laughs> how can I pick just three? There's some, a lot of really icky stuff in here. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna make sure that my details are actually from the text it's okay if you're just copying details from the text because later you're going to put those details in your own words. So let's see. Okay, here's my first detail. It says here that colonial, it wasn't just the medicines that smelled bad. Colonial people did too. They seldom bathed. That means they almost never bathed. Most people believed water was unhealthy. So I thought that was a really good detail that supports that they were dirty. So my first detail is that colonial people rarely bathed. Most people believed water was unhealthy. So I took that from the text. I, I might have put it my own spin on it, but at this point, we're just putting information on the page. We can worry about putting it in our own words later. So that's my first detail. And I just want to ask myself, does that support my main idea that the colonists were really dirty? Yeah, I think it does. Okay, let's find another. Hmm. 
Okay, another thing I learned is that colonial people thought the dirt that caked up on their skin actually protected them from illness. So we know now that's not true, but that's something they thought back then. And I thought this really went along with my main idea, that the colonists were really dirty. So colonial people thought the dirt caked on their skin protected them from illness. Let me just make sure that that actually supports the main idea that the colonists were really dirty. Yes, totally. Okay, I need one more at least. Okay, I've got my third detail. Another thing that I learned about the colonists was that in the winter, the water would freeze so they couldn't wash their clothes and they had to wear clothes covered with food splatters and animal droppings. Yikes. I wanna make sure that it supports my main idea that the colonists were really dirty. I feel like it does. So I've got three details here about how the colonists were really dirty and I'm finished with my graphic organizer. This is gonna help me with my next step of the writing process. Now, I might come back to this to get more information like for my handy hint or my fun fact later, or maybe I wanna add another detail. I could easily do that by just adding another branch. If there's more information, go for it. If not, that's okay. Your goal today is to get a main idea, three supporting details, it's okay at this point if you are copying your details from the text because later when we go to actually draft, that's when you'll do the work of putting that in your own words so that you're not using somebody else's work. But it's okay for now to copy your details and um, hopefully they all will support your main idea. Have fun learning about the colonists.